What's going on guys? It's the Lethal Collector and welcome to the first ever collection tour for this channel. So if you've been following me on TikTok and Instagram, you know that a collection tour has been long overdue. But after all the constant releases and just the nitpicking and overall constant updating of my shelves, I think I'm finally done. I have everything displayed. Well, mostly everything. And yeah, let's get to it. So sit back, relax, and enjoy me talking about action figures for however long this video is. Boring! So before I show off the D-tops, I thought I'd show you guys how I have my boxes set up. Um, I don't keep all my boxes, nor am I an inbox collector, but having these Mafex boxes like this just brings me joy. So these are the only ones I keep. And there's also more up there. Here, let me get a chair and show you guys up here. Just more boxes, figure arts, a bunch of Dragon Ball boxes down there, more figure arts, Rebel Tech over there. But yeah, these are the boxes up here. Hush, Dark Knight Returns, Spider Man, X Men, yada yada yada, and then. Here's all the movie stuff with more boxes behind there. Yeah, just how uniform the boxes are from Apex. I love them, so I keep them. Mezcos, Gomez. But yeah, let's get to the Detoffs. So the first Detoff is going to be the mostly the MCU figures. You know, if you know me, I started collecting mostly because of the MCU and with Marvel Legends. So got to show some love, dedicate a detail for them. But yeah, this is the Avengers Endgame shelf, obviously. A little chaotic, but I like it that way. Kind of depicts the final battle. But moving in into the corner, you can see Ant-Man with Giant-Man doing a little growing effect. That's the figure arts one, the Endgame one. I love this one because of the, the lenses and the eyes. But yeah, that is the Captain Marvel right next to him. Let me fix one. Please focus, thank you. And yeah, I'm not gonna go over all of them. Hoping you guys know what these figures are. Um, yeah, that's the Mafex Doctor Strange Infinity War, but I took off the Aga Eye of Agamotto, sorry, to make it look like how he looked like in Endgame with the effect from the Marvel Legends Defender Strange. Yeah, that's what's going on with the end game shelf. Iron Spider right here with the Marvel Legends Rescue, Black Widow, Iron Man, Mafex, Marvel Legends Iron Patriot, Mafex Thor, Black Panther doing a little vaulting pose with the gauntlet. If you know the scene, you know it. One of my favorite scenes from the movie, I had to include it in the shelf somehow. And this is actually inspired by my boy Des Collects on TikTok and Instagram, so go check him out. There's Hawkeye back there with his eye staring down the arrow. Love how that came out. And of course, my favorite figure of 2022, Mafex Endgame Cap. Love this thing. But yeah, that's the Avengers shelf. You know, the big bad in the middle. Yeah, zoom out one more time. That's the end game shelf. But moving down is the Infinity War shelf. This one's pretty basic compared to the end game one. Not many stands, no one's flying around or nothing. Yeah, in the corner is the arrival to Wakanda little trio action going on. The Mafex Infinity War Thor, the Thor Love and Thunder Groot, and whatever rocket that's from, from Legends. Thanos again. And this little duo I loved from Infinity War. Both are figure arts. And then we have Cap, the goat, my favorite character from the MCU. And yeah, just a bunch of figures lined up here. Nothing too crazy. This is the figure arts Gamora. And so is that. That's the figure arts Scarlet Witch. 
Love the head sculpt on that. But yeah, that's the Infinity War shelf. One more zoom out shot. Moving down from Infinity War is the miscellaneous Marvel shelf. Mostly all uh, Marvel Legends. Now these are just some figures that like I personally enjoyed or like they just look really good. I just wanted to have them displayed so I could look at. But just because I have the figures out doesn't necessarily mean I like the movie or show that they came out from. Eat my hammer! But yeah, let's get into it in the corner. You should know what these are. Love these figures. Can't seem the same about whatever they appear from. Sam Wilson Cap. I love the show and I love how his wings fill up the empty space. So got to keep him there. Bucky from the same show. My little fox. X-Men little corner with Logan Charles. Amazon exclusive Wolverine. And then the figure works Deadpool right there. And in the front is a movie that I really loved, Guardians of the Galaxy 3. Love these figures, love the movie. Crew, you know, Kraglin, Adam Warlock, the Guardians right here with Cosmo. And little baby Rocket that came with the Groot. Another Groot, Red Guardian, She-Hulk. One of the best face prints in my opinion. The show was okay. Worthy Cap, John Berthal and Punisher with a custom vest made by my mom. There's gonna be a lot of custom stuff that my mom had made for me in this collection, so stay tuned to hear me say made by my mom probably like a hundred times. But yeah, that's the miscellaneous Marvel shelf. One more zoomed out shot. And then going down is my villains. So getting into the villains, in the corner we have Spider-Man villains. Just the three that I have. Um, there's Vulture looking so sick with that wingspan. Mysterio, Venom perched up in the corner right there. Surtur, great figure. You know, Ironmonger, Obadiah Stane. He has more villains in the front. Thanos' kids. Little Captain America villains. Little right here. Baron Zemo, customized US agent, by the way. Love how that turned out. They have Winter Soldier, one of my first figures ever. And then Taskmaster. You know, Black Panther villains. Killmonger which I prefer him in this look over the Black Panther suit. But anyway, Gore, Hella, and Billy Butcher. I don't, I forgot his name. Um, Crossbones, Wen Wu, Ultron, Ego, and Ghost. Oh yeah, and Crow too. But yeah, that's the villain shelf for the MCU. A bit crowded, but I like it. I like the colors and the setup is similar to the Infinity War shelf, but having it crowded like that, I think it looks a little better. But yeah, let's move on to the next ETOF. So on to the next ETOF. This is mainly Spider-Man figures, or at least featuring at least one Spider-Man. But if you know me, you know I love Spider-Man, my favorite Marvel character of all time. Who doesn't love Spider-Man? But yeah, this second ETOF is all Spider-Man. So getting into this one, this is the cinematic Spider-Man shelf mixed with live action and animation. But, you know, across the Spider-Verse, we all know that's interlinked. But in the corner, we have the Sentinel, Peter B. and Miles. Nothing too crazy. Again, just filling up that space nice and good. This Miles actually has custom clothes, the shorts and jacket made by my mom. Then we have the Figuarts Miles and Gwen, the new one from Across the Spider-Verse. 
face prints are amazing on these two. Yeah, they're sitting on the gargoyle that comes with Peter B. And then next to the left is the Sentinel SPDR. Love this figure. I know it gets a lot of hate, but I personally love it. Penny being a statue still irks some to me, but you know. Right here we have Spider-Punk from Marvel Legends. I love this. The only Marvel Legends in this display. How'd that get in there? But yeah, doing a little guitar pose right there. I love that. And then here's my first import ever, the Mafex Far From Home upgraded suit. Taking a little selfie with Penny right there. And then in the front we have the Mafex Homecoming version 1.5 with a custom backpack and jacket made by my mom again. And then going up here, Mafex Peter B. Venom, SHF, and an underrated figure, Mafex Night Monkey from Far From Home. He has his lenses up if it could focus, but yeah. And in the middle is, of course, the trio from No Way Home. That Andrew is kind of facing the, sorry. Nope, okay, wait, hold up. Sorry about that, I had to fix Andrew. He wasn't looking in the right direction, but I said, why not give him the custom clothes that my mom made to depict that sick Spider-Man look from Tasm 2. Of <laughs> Spider-Man. And he's still leaning forward for some reason. And, <clears throat> okay, there we go. I had his feet a little crooked, but they're now nice and flat on the floor. Yeah, that's the trio. And one more wide shot of this display. Love how this one came out. But yeah, let's move on to the next one. Here is, if you can already tell, the comic Spider-Man shelf. Looking nice, a little empty, but you know, I can't put anything else in here, I think. Maybe Mafex Carnage or something, but for now, this is how it's going to look. I personally like it. I dig it. But yeah, let's get into it. If I scoot in here, the corner, we have a little comic color situation going on. With 185 and the new Scarlet Spider. Here's him shooting a web. This web is actually custom made by Hero HQ Hobby Hour. I'm pretty sure that's his Instagram. Go check him out. Make some fantastic webs. But he has the web backpack on from Symbiote Spidey Mafex. There's a Scarlet Spider doing a little web swinging pose. I personally love how this came out. This web one is made by me, but yeah. Love how this turned out. In the middle we have, of course, the 75 reissue Mafex. Holding a pizza, doing Spider-Man things. Pizza time. And moving on to this corner, my favorite. This is the Symbiote Spidey from Apex. Oh boy, yeah. Love how this pose turned out. Let me zoom in a little more. There we go. But yeah, this pose I love. And then we have the Scarlet Spider, Ben Risey. Using a combination of my, my webs and Hero hobby or hero hq hobby hour but yeah moving down rebel tech venom looking monstrous as hell i love this thing this is the reissue if there's any difference and he's roaring in the ear of one of the greatest spider-man figures of all time the rebel tech 2.0 have it has his eyes a little focus there we go squinting a little but yeah have the Revel Techs paired up together. Love that. And in the middle, we have none other than the Mafex Venom. The Lethal Protector. And then right here is one of my grails. And actually, I bought this from The Amazing. This is the Revel Tech Amazing Yamaguchi Aaron Davis Iron Spider. Man, black and gold. 
Looks so good. I love this thing. Try to use his legs to fill up that bottom space a little more. But yeah, this thing, I love it. The way it shines is so good. But yeah, moving on, that is the comic Spider-Man shelf. Please focus. Again, nothing too crazy, but yeah, let's move on. Next is another jumble of Marvel Legends right next to what was going on over there. This is for Spider-Man though. You know, a little Spider-Man shrine. And Andrew just... Come on, man. Went for a nap, but anyway. Spider-Man shrine. Just a bunch of Marvel Legends together, but yeah, let's get into it. In the corner, I guess, we have some villains. I need more villains, but here they are for now. I couldn't fit on Doc Ock's legs because they were taking up too much space. Peter Parked car, House of Spider-Man on top, Jessica Drew driving and whatnot. Little symbiote situation going on. You know, just a bunch of Spider-Mans, you guys know who these are, I hope. Yeah. Right there. Little symmetry action going on here. In the middle, of course, we have the best Hasbro Marvel Legends Spider-Man, the Amazing Fantasy. Stan Lee, Stan the Man. Retro Spider-Man with a Peter Parker head. The Renew Your Vow Spider-Man. The PS5, PS4 Miles, Spider-Man in the middle. But yeah, this right here is the view that I see. So you can see everybody's heads. Looks cool. But yeah, this one's nothing too crazy again. God, I'm saying that so much, but anyway, yeah. Let's move on to the next display. Moving down from this shelf is the last display of this detoff, the classic Avengers display. Not complete, a little empty, but you know, it is what it is for now. In the middle, at the top, we have the new Mafex Thor with some Tamashi lightning effects. I love this thing. Head articulation is a little limited, but he's still pretty cool. The Hasbro Marvel Legends Retro Black Widow. Still looking for the new one, but no luck as of yet. Right here we have the Mr. Hyde, I think, build a figure wave. AI Iron Man, it's the Shang-Chi wave, I'm pretty sure. But yeah, I love the bright colors on this one. And over here, of course, we have one of um, Amazing Yamaguchi's best, the Rebel Tech Amazing Yamaguchi Black Panther. Love this thing. Let's get a zoom in on that color. Oh my god. And in the middle, of course, we have the 20th anniversary Captain America. He is kit bashed with some straps that I got from the G.I. Joe Outback. If he could focus. There you go. And that shield, of course, is from the MCU Captain America figure. I just prefer having straps on my shields rather than clips. But yeah, that's Cap. Hoping it's focusing. Leading the Avengers, as usual. Up here, of course, we have another Spider-Man, because this is a Spider-Man detop, after all. But yeah, he's swinging. And of course, last but not least, we have the Mezco Iron Fist. Looking so good. But yeah, that's the last display of this detop. Let's go to the next one. Now I already know that these two next shelves are not gonna be for everyone, but I personally love DC and Zack Snyder's movies. So yeah, I have some displays going on. Um, to start off, here's that McFarlane Steppenwolf. A pain to pose and keep standing because of those small feet. And a pain, I mean, those spikes are pretty dangerous. But yeah, he's holding the mother boxes that come with the Mafex figures. In the middle is one of my grails. Yes, I have a lot of grails, but um, anyway, this is the Nightmare Mezco Joke. What? Joker. Batman, sorry. Love this thing. McFarlane Darkseid. Both arms are broken and glued on. Love, hate. 
relationship with that figure, but I digress. We have the Noda Studios Bruce, Rich Man Bruce, little mini hot toy. I love this thing. They even got his mold on his face. But anyway, I try to recreate that pose he did throwing the battering while he's recruiting Bruce, Barry, sorry. Recreating that pose where he's recruiting Barry. Yeah, that's a tongue, tw tongue twister. Oh, but anyway, Mezco Tactical Batman. We have the Mafex Flash getting ready to run with the lightning effects that come with Infinity War Thor or someone. One of the Thors from Mafex, but Mafex, Zack Snyder's Justice League Cyborg. They killed it with this one this time. The bright silver and the arms and head sculpt is so good. And the updated colors of the cannons, but anyway. We have Wonder Woman, little basic pose, and Aquaman, basic pose again. But yeah, I'm waiting for the Mezco three pack to drop so I can add a Superman to this display. But for now, this will do a little basic again, but what can I do? And let's move on to the next one. The next display is just a random jumble of DCEU figures. My version of a complete DC cinematic universe but we all know how that went down but yeah let's get into this one let's start off in this corner this time we have two of my grails again the mezco batman v superman superman and armored batman this one is the 2016 san diego comic-con exclusive with the eyes lighting up and everything but yeah i love these two that superman has a maniple Head sculpt on. Little mini hot toy again. Love these. This corner we have the new SHF Black Adam. Fighting the Mafex Shazam. Love this. I wish we could saw we I wish we could have seen this in live action, but in some alternate universe we have DC movies thriving, but unfortunately we leave in this one. We have my second cyborg, the original one from the Justice League movie. He's doing that little pose that he did in the end of Zack Snyder's Justice League, where he ex finally accepts being who he is. Thought that was a little cool, you know, being by himself. SHF, Wonder Woman 84, Wonder Woman. I love this suit, how bright it is with everyone else. Movies dookie though. Mafex Black Adam. What? Black Adam. Black Manta, sorry. Looking cool, I love this one too. Very underrated. And then in the front we have the Mafex Amber Turd. Um, I love this figure, I love the character. Actress, I could say otherwise. We have the Mafex Aquaman in his classic orange and green. Love how badass this looks. And then we have the Mafex The Dark Knight Trilogy Joker, the 3.0. Doing a little bowing pose, trying to show off that chain, that real metal chain. Yeah, I thought this looked cool. Let's zoom in on that face though. So good. In the front, we have Mafex Bane sitting down, looking menacing. I thought this was a cool way to fill up that empty space I had right here. And to cover up those risers. Oh, speaking of risers, I'll link all the risers and stuff that I use for these displays in the description below as long as not as long as um along with the websites i use to buy figures if it's not from resellers or anything or facebook groups but last but not least here is the christian bale batman from Mafex. i love those white lenses head sculpt so i kept it on looks like a classic batman but yeah that's the dceu shelf I can't wait for the new Mafex Flash, the the one from the new movie. And I'm also waiting on the the Maniple um new Superman that's gonna come out. But yeah, I'm waiting I'm trying to get like a classic Justice League display going on with like the brighter colored classic looking costumes. So yeah, that Mesco 3-pack Batman is also gonna be here. But for now, this is what it looks like. 
onto the next display. For the next shelf is one of my favorites. This is the X-Men shelf with figures that are mostly based on Jim Lee's artwork. I love Jim Lee, one of my favorite comic book artists. But yeah, let's get into this one after this one more wide shot. How long is this going to take? And in this corner, we have the new Magneto. I love how this pose turned out. And that cape is so beautiful. So, so good. In the middle, of course, we have Storm with more lightning effects. She's looking so good right there in the middle. I was not expecting this to be the centerpiece, but once I set her up with all the lightning, I had to put her in the middle. But anyway, Apocalypse. This is the Marvel Legends. This one's off the Marvel Legends Deadpool Retro, I think. He has the Captain America helmet on from the Peggy 2-pack and a bazooka, but I actually won this from Shardimus Prime in a giveaway, so that's cool. But yeah, there's Deadpool. Mezco Gambit. Mayfix Jean. Mayfix Cyclops. And this is the Mayfix Wolverine brown suit version please focus he has a custom head sculpt on from cave collectors on instagram so go check him out if you want one this is so good i love berserker wolverine but yeah i'm hoping this is focused i can't really see but anyway the marvel legends rogue back there i can't wait until mafex gives us one but for now she'll do um the mafex psylocke damn Chick's got an ass like an onion. Makes me want to cry. Anyways, I'm being weird. The Marvel Legends Iceman. Yeah, that's the X-Men shelf. One of my favorites. Oh, I forgot to mention. Marvel Legends Beast. The new retro one that comes with the lab coat. But yeah, X-Men shelf. One of my favorites. Let's go to the next one. So for the next one is obviously Star Wars. I also love Star Wars. I have a problem of liking too many things all at once, but anyway, these are not all my Star Wars figures. I have some stored away, but I just try to display what I like the most. Starting off in the back, of course, the greatest villain in fiction, Darth Vader, with some stormtroopers. Shout out to my sister. She bought me like so many of these figures, including these stormtroopers right here. I love, love, love them. They look so cool. A little symmetry action. And in the front of them, we have my three favorite characters on risers. First off, Obi-Wan. And then the SHF Luke from Mandalorian with a custom cloak made by my mom again. And then a Mando Black Series with a custom cape, a different head, and a custom bag that holds Grogu. Which, fun fact, this is actually made from the robe that came with this Mace Windu. But my mom, you know, she didn't like that robe. And she we needed a bag to hold Grogu, so she got to work and it turned out so good. I love my mom. Go hug your mom and tell her you love her. But anyway, just more Star Wars stuff. You know, Mesa Windu with that custom cloak. Ahsoka, Rebels Ahsoka with a custom cloak again. The SHF Kylo Ren. Yoda. And Bo-Katan, Boba Fett, you know, you know, the, you know the deal. Again, nothing too crazy. I wish we could do something else with this display. But for now, I have it like this. And yeah, let's move on to the last detoff. Now for the last detoff is probably my favorite detoff out of all of them, but it's just a jumble of random stuff. It's in competition with that Spider-Man display, but I think I like this one more. But moving to the first one, we have the Batman Hush display. If you're wondering where all those Hush figures went, they're all right here. But yeah, I just love how this one turned out. Try to utilize all that wire. Hmm? Uh, yeah. wire. 
that comes with all the figures and their capes and whatnot. But yeah, let's move into this one. In the corner, we have the dynamic duo, the black suit version of Batman and Superman. This is the first release. And I love how that cape turned out for Batman right here. Yeesh, I love this. He's probably gonna stay like that for a while. But yeah, it's, it's trying to like depict that, um, that like they had a little meeting and they're just off to do their own things now, being the best friends that they are. But moving on. This is inspired by one of my favorite comic panels from Batman Hush. We have Batman punching Superman with the kryptonite ring that Superman had given him, just in case. You know, Superman, of course, has the poison ivy vines on him. But yeah, again, using that wire in the cape to depict some motion going on. Yeah, if you look at this soup, Batman, sorry. All angles, I think he looks good. Let's look at it from the outside of the detail. Yeah, so sick. I love it. But yeah, that Superman as well. This is the reissue. And moving in the middle is none other than Hush himself. Can't have Batman Hush without Hush. Um, this one actually has a custom cloak. That plastic one was not doing it for me, especially when everything else is soft goods, but... This one is, of course, you guessed it, made by my mom. She killed it with this one. I love it. The colors also like clash so perfectly with everything. Okay, he's looking menacing in the middle. But moving on, Huntress, another baddie. What do you mean by that? In the display, pause. But yeesh, I love this one too. She's doing that classic Huntress pose. Sorry if I keep zooming in and stuff. I'm just admiring the figures with you guys. That's just me, sorry. Um, I'm trying to get all the angles, but here is one of my most anticipated figures ever, Nightwing from Apex. Man, that twirling baton effect is so good. Perfect figure, I love this. And then moving on this side, so I'm not trying to show the front yet. We have, of course, the clown, Crown? Clown? Um, clown Prince of Crime. The Joker. Underrated figure. But of course he has a third party revolver because he didn't come with one. Because of the gun ban with DC. That one's from eBay. Underrated figure, if I didn't say that already. And then of course we have Harley. Sitting on top of a crate, relaxed. Filling up the empty space. So I originally had both of these posed up like the classic Alex Ross art. But, you know, times change, I switched it up and I think this turned out well. But in the middle is my favorite pose from all of these. Actually, I still love that one, but second favorite pose, I guess. We have little Bruce Wayne and Selena Kyle action. If you read the comic, you know why I have these two together like this. But yeah, even Catwoman has her on its toes, on her toes, sorry. But yeah, I use that wire again, consume the, consuming them both. But yeah, there's a thing I did where I try to have her look at him in the eyes while he looks at her in the eyes. I'm here to tell you right now, we don't care. Let me tell, <laughs> right, let me... Just a little stuff that I like to do, a little nitpicking. This would take so long for collection tours. So, sorry if that doesn't interest you, but I just love that. That took so long, but it's totally worth it. But yeah, that's the Batman Hush display. My favorite display. Just the color clash and everything is so good. Can't wait for more figures from the Hush line. The best line from Apex. In my opinion, of course. But yeah, let's move on to the next display. Under Hush, we have another random jumble of... DC figures, mostly all, I think it's all imports, if you could say, but I love how this one turned out too. Let's go in, um, right here starting off is Azrael Batman from the Nightfall storyline. Can't wait for more figures from this line. He's looking so good. 
Nice. He's holding the cape, you know, leaping over buildings and whatnot. Classic Asbat activities. In the middle, we have the Return of Superman figures. Got that steel in recently, added him in. Got that for my birthday. Shout out to my sister again. I have such a great family. I love them. But yeah, he's about to block the punch that Su Cyborg Superman is going to blow. Which again is another favorite figure of mine. I love this. But yeah, that, those capes too, if you didn't notice. I take pride in posing capes. My favorite pastime. As sad as that sounds, I love posing capes. But yeah, there's Cyborg Superman again, making eye contact with the regen suit, black suit Superman. A little basic figure, but I love it too. But yeah, that's my little Return of Superman little section. On this side, we have the Revo Amazing Yamaguchi Arkham Knights. Yes, I have two. Uh, my sister saw me struggling swapping parts with one, and she didn't want me to keep swapping them, so she got me another one. And they look so good together. I love the clash of red and blue. Love the poses I got them in. But yeah, they're taking up that little corner right there. Moving down, the Dark Knight Returns figures from Apex, Batman v Superman. One of the best, if not the best, Superman figure of all time. I love this thing. The cape on it is amazing. The proportions, the capture of um, Frank Miller's art. All that, so good. About to sock Batman in the face. Him being ready, obviously. But yeah, there's that. My custom Red Hood with clothes, you guessed it, again, made by my mom. Love, love, love this. He's made on the V-Toys body. Um, next is the Mezco Deathstroke. You know, just standing there, looking cool. And then we have the Dark Knight Returns Batman, about to end Joker, who's, of course, laughing like a maniac with a battering in his eye. Yeah, I love this setup too. If you know, you know. Sorry, it's not focusing. Try to get these angles. There we go. Or not. But yeah, anyway, you get the idea. I hope you guys are enjoying so far. But yeah, there's that. Let's move on to the next one. Now we're moving into the anime figures, slowly but surely. Yes, I also like Dragon Ball amongst, you know, Star Wars, X-Men, DC, Spider-Man, you know, as MCU stuff. I like too many stuff, but what can I do? If I see a nice figure, I need it. But this is the Dragon Ball display. A little crowded. Not organized by sagas in any way, but, you know, I still like how these look. These display risers are actually from Elevate Figure Displays very underrated company and such a smart way to display your figures i have a link in my description you can also use code lethal for 10 percent off but anyway in the corner we have broly looking jacked great gam grandpa bardock beers yawning in the back about thousand characters so you know i like that a little dynamic duo action going on here. The Ultra Instinct Goku and Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta. With another, again, risers also connect to stands. And yeah, you know, Majin Buu and Goku. What? Goku, Gohan, I'm sorry. You know, depicting that scene, you know, you know. Goku Black, the menace, looking so dope. And another Goku Black, this is the Saiyan um, Rose figure with the head that comes with him, actually. But I just like how this looks better than the metallic one. But yeah, he's doing that. And if you look at the stand, I think it's so cool. Elevate figure displays came out with these stands recently. They hold on to the foot, but are clear. And yeah, you can have your you can have your figures posed 
on basically one foot without falling over. Looking so cool. But anyway, Superhero Gohan with the head sculpt that comes with Gamma 2, I think, I'm pretty sure. Broly, another Broly. Gamma 1 and 2. Looking cool. Have an extra set for sale if you want, if you guys, if any of you guys want it. Frieza holding a Dragon Ball, and of course, Turles holding a Fruit of the Tree of Might. Love this beefcake. The OG Goku Black. So good. I love this thing. But anyway, moving over here. Great Saiyan doing a goofy pose. Love this figure too. Piccolo. Super Saiyan Vegeta, the new one. Trunks, the new one. I love this. I need to get up a posing video on TikTok and Instagram for this guy soon. But anyway, Krillin holding a bag of sensu beans. And Goku in the front and middle eating some fried rice. So in character. But yeah, that's the Dragon Ball shelf. Let's move on to the last one. And last, but certainly not least, we have my miscellaneous shelf. And now I don't have space nor like a dedicated detoff to put these guys separately. And the lines that they're from, they don't have that many figures yet. So for now, they're all in here. Uh, but yeah, I love how this one turned out too. It's so colorful. But yeah, let's go into this one. In the back corner, we have the boys figures from Apex. We have Homelander. Such a great figure in that iconic pose, that sociopath pose. We have Billy Butcher, the actual Billy Butcher, not the Marvel Legends I mentioned earlier, but looking so good. I love these two. I'm trying to get Black Noir right now, but I don't know where I'm gonna put him. But anyway, Tech on Avengers, Iron Man and Captain America from SHF. So underrated. I love this line. I hope they release more because their character designs for that whole line is so good. Yeah, these two, amazing. Next, we have my little green team. Unintentional, but it came out so good. SHF Buzz right there. Perfect figure. We have Master Chief from 1000 Toys. This is the PX exclusive. We have, of course, Kamen Rider Kuga. Right here we have the Naruto section. You know, all the Naruto figures I have right now. On top we have, of course, Naruto himself. Looking so cool. Next we have Kakashi, my favorite character from the anime. Kakashi Sensei. Doing a little lightning blade Chidori action. This effect is actually from Sasuke, but you know, it works. I love this. And then next we have Sasuke doing some fireball jutsu. And before you ask, this effect is from the Hasbro Street Fighter Power Ranger collab, Ryu. It comes with a stand and all. But yeah, I think it worked perfectly. Looking cool. I use the head sculpt that has, or the face sculpt that has the mouth open a little. But anyway, Sakura in the front. Looking cool. And the next we have my Chainsaw Man figures. I love this Chainsaw Man. God, so perfect. If you haven't seen my posing video of this guy yet, go check him out on my TikTok and Instagram. I'll link both of them in the bio. I love this figure, so good. Definitely in my top 10 of this year as well. Next to him is Power, or Power. So good. She's filling up that empty space with her hammer very well. But yeah, this figure is also pretty cool. I like it more than I thought it would. But yeah, it's so cool. Next, we have my Kit Bash Snake Eyes. The legs are from the Outback, G.I. Joe Outback from the same line. And I also add added some more straps right here from the AI ninjas and whatnot, but yeah, I think it turned out dope. Next to him is Hasbro's best capabilities. I love this figure. This is the 
Hasbro G.I. Joe Classified Series Storm Shadow. Getting ready to shoot a, an arrow. Love, love, love that. And in the front, one of my grails now, a birthday gift I got from D. Amazing himself, the GOAT. This is the Mezco Gomez Casino Secret Agent version. My most wanted Gomez out of all of them. I can't believe I have him. But yeah, he's sitting there posed up, looking confident. With that smirking face. Gun smoking. Showing off that watch with on that base too. So good. I'm glad I fit it in that base there because it looks so good with the white suit. And in the front is of course my favorite Power Ranger. My favorite Power Ranger suit from um, Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. This is the White Ranger Hasbro Lightning Collection. Rest in peace, Jay Dave, Jason David Frank. Absolute legend. But yeah, in the front and center. But yeah, that is the miscellaneous shelf. And the last shelf of Last Detox. While I show you guys one more wide shot of the whole collection, I just want to take this time to say thank you to everybody showing love on, you know, Instagram, TikTok, and all that. Just reached 400,000 subscriber, subscribers, followers on TikTok, and it's absolutely insane. So thank you for all the support. But just remember at the end of the day, I'm just a dude, you know, toy collector, just like any one of you guys. Do my dude things. Just living life but yeah I'm, I'm glad i got all these set up before i start school again college next week actually which is exciting i guess but yeah last year of college and this is how the collection is looking i can't wait to do more of these soon once i you know update them more add figures and whatnot but yeah that's the displays the collection yeah thank you for watching and i hope you enjoyed however long this video was but thanks for sticking around if you did watch till the end peace